The Ministry of Transport has announced that the pilot phase of car-free days in select roads within the Nairobi CBD will be carried out on Friday this week. Afterwards, private motorists will be required to keep their private vehicles at bay on Wednesday and Saturdays and instead use public service vehicles. Elfas Lagat also spoke to those who will bear the impact of this plan. In exactly two days, the city of Nairobi is about to make a historic piloting phase that is geared at stopping personal vehicles from accessing select roads in the capital. A move geared at decongesting the CBD, but one that has been met by opposition and equal measure of support. And I got to shower all of us at the same time. So to think out, outside the box, I think also Kunakazi Zingine Zinafazi Wekwe Masaingine Ikwe Atuendi Sisi Water at the same time. Ni serikali angalie njia ambayo inaweza kapunguza magari ndogo kuingia mjini because hata yule mtu ana gari ndogo anaweza ingia gari kubwa. The rollout of the car free days that will be tested on Friday is targeting select roads within the CBD among them Moi Avenue, Harambe Avenue and City Hall Way. This is expected to reduce congestion and ease flow of traffic within Kenya's busiest city. As the country gears to embrace bus rapid transit, a brainchild of the Nairobi Regeneration Committee that was tasked with solving critical challenges facing the capital. 45-year-old Joel Maingi is a father of three and has hoped for a living for 18 years now. He reckons that reading the CBD of private vehicles should be an all-inclusive process and considerate to hawkers with disabilities. Wakati abao imekuja hifo, wale watu abao watahusika kuhusa. Watakuwa identified na nini na watachukuliwa kutoka wapi. The saying is that the bus stops have to be very, very well designed. They need to be marked so that we even have the signs that show people with disabilities where do they stop and how do they board these buses. Once car-free days are implemented, members of the public are expected to cooperate and use public service vehicles on the selected roads. With Uhuru Park and Railway Bus Terminus designated as parking spots during the two car-free days. The decision to bar private vehicles from using select streets in Nairobi Central Business District, like City Hallway, has elicited sharp and mixed reactions. And now, whether this decision would serve to decongest the city or not remains to be seen. Alpha Slagat, Citizen TV, Nairobi.